Uh, thank you, Mayor and Council. Nina Vetter, City Manager. Um, attached to the agenda, as always, is the June City Manager's Report. I'll note that, as usual, we report on data from the previous month, so the data trends and information that you see in the report reflect through the end of May. Um, this month, our Gresham Great, which recognizes an employee or a group of employees who are thanked by a community member, go to a few of our police officers who got thanked for their participation in showing up to an e-gaming event. Um, the quote from uh, one of the event organizers was, thank you again for partnering with us on this. The officers were great. One of the teachers came up to me and said that one of the students was a bit nervous and intimidated at first. By the end of it, however, the student was laughing and high-fiving with one of the officers and was even talking one-on-one -on -one with them. Definitely a very positive impact for that particular student, and it was really cool to see that. Overall, all the kids really seemed to enjoy it. Thank you, Officer Swayzen, Laboon, and Sweezy. Thank you. Yeah. All right. On the first page of the report, um, we highlight, again, several data trends through the month of May. You'll note that our shooting statistics in terms of verified shootings and injuries from shootings are significantly down from 2022. Uh, verified shootings from 133 to 68, injuries from shootings from 15 to three. Um, we also highlighted this month our actual fire incidents, and that's not all calls, fire and emergency services. Those are specific fire incidents. Um, and we did see <clears throat> a pretty sharp increase um, from April to May, and that also is an increase from previous year up to 75. I'll also note on the bottom in the blue box, you will see um, some other data points that I thought were important to highlight. Um, through May of 2022, we had had seven homicides. Through May of 2023, we have one. Also interesting statistic, traffic fatalities have actually increased. So we had uh, five, sorry, it says, they both say 2023, five in 2022 and six in 2023 through the end of May. So scrolling to the next page, um, for the month of um, June, we have some key operational updates. And I specifically wanna share with you tonight a few grants um, that we received that allow us to stretch our dollars and allow us to do more with our limited resources. Um, the first is uh, Change in the Air Gresham Coalition won funding in the second phase of the American Made Community Clean Energy Coalition Prize. Whoo, that's a mouthful, uh, from the Department of Energy. Um, and uh, we do have a link there. So if you wanna check out exactly what that means um, for Gresham and what that work looks like, you can check it out there. You'll also notice we have a beautiful picture before and after of one of our local basketball courts. Um, through ARPA funding from the state, so these were not the city of Gresham ARPA dollars, these are ARPA dollars from the state we received to do some local parks improvements. And one of them is this basketball court resurfacing project at Red Sunset Parks. Um, so a big thanks um, to our state representatives for this support um, and for our city team going out and getting the work done. We probably will see a lot more activity and a lot more youth using this basketball court because of the update. Um, at the end of the report, we have one project highlight. Um, once again, our solid waste and sustainability and code enforcement teams have partnered for a $240,000 Metro cleanup grant to support the collection of bulky waste and abandoned RVs. A big thank you to the team for applying for the grant. Um, and again, a lot of great examples in this month of how we're using grants and other resources, resources to get our work done and to stretch our dollars further. And that is my report for this evening. <laughs>